Hi, this video is going to give you a quick overview of importing into Altrue. Whether you need to update existing records or add new records to the database, you can do this through import. Import in Altrue is unique in the fact that it is based entirely on batch. This means that if you are looking to import specific records, all the fields that you are looking to import should be included in that batch type. Let's take a closer look at this. From Administration, click Batch Entry. Then click Batch Templates in the Configuration section. You can use any of these existing batch templates for import, or you can create a new template. Let's say we are importing new constituent records. We would use the Constituent Batch Basic Template. Simply highlight this template and click Edit. On the Select Fields and Defaults tab, you can see all the fields that are included in this batch. If you want to include any other fields, you can select them now. Once you have all the fields that you want to include, click Save. The next step is to create a header file. From Administration, click Import. In the Task menu, click Generate Import Header File. Select the batch template you configured in the first step. Notice the collection fields, phone, and solicit code. Collection fields mean that you can import more than one of this field. For example, to import three phone numbers for a constituent, you would enter three. The same thing for solicit codes. For this example, I'm going to change this back to one. And click OK. You'll notice that your import file downloads as a CSV file. This file contains all of the different fields that you are able to import into Altrue, including all of the required fields. Once you have all of your data in this file, we can save this file as a CSV. On the import page, let's click Add. We'll enter the import name. And now let's select the import file. Click From Local File and choose your file. And then select the batch template we edited or created previously. Next, you should see all the fields in the batch template below. Click Auto Map. This will automatically match the fields from your data file to the fields in the batch template. If the system cannot match these fields automatically, click the drop down and manually select the field that it corresponds to. On the Options tab, you will see a few formatting options for dates and how the system will search for the fields. Next, let's click Save. From the Import page, highlight this process and click Start Import. Once this process completes, it will create an open batch where you can view the records and make any changes. Let's click Go to Batch Entry. We can see that this is our batch that was created from the import process. We can highlight this batch and click Edit to view these records. Once you're ready to commit this batch, let's click Save and Close. The final step in the import process is to commit the batch. Once you do this, the records will be added to the database. And click Start. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more basics videos on export and batch entry.